Hey everybody, Eddie J on crypto. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we've got a number of things to get through. So we've got Uber, Georgia, the SEC chief Gary Gensler, BlockFi might be coming out of a little situation. We'll see. Uh, Missouri, New Hampshire. My nieces will love this. Drake done did something. Um, looking at traders playing the short game, you know. Um, also, one of my friends had a conversation. Um, he had a conversation about uh, crypto technology and what they're doing with it, and he likes where it's going and everything. And you know what? What I really caught from this conversation wasn't about you know his suggestion as crypto is being used as an index and spiders and how this how it's being used to sell sports memorabilia because he's a huge sports nut, bigger than me. Um, that's not what it was. It was a regular person having thoughts on crypto technology and cryptocurrencies. Very mainstream to me. And I just keep thinking about the momentum that crypto technologies are making. Even, even just those tiny little things like, you know, digital currency portions and, you know, the use of NFTs. And yeah, those are just a couple of the use cases. But just the fact that people are aware and doing things, I think that's, you know, I just think that's freaking awesome. So those are things that I'm, you know, that I'm paying attention to. Um, I think, I think, you know, with all the momentum that's going on, we're going to see more and more and more come out with crypto. I mean, you have Alfa Romeo dropping a new car whose, you know, maintenance records and everything about the car being tracked through, you know, NFTs. Wow, what a use case is that? Does it increase, will it increase the value of a car because you have more of a record as the new owner of the car as to what's going on with it? I think that increases the value in a major fashion because if you look at something like Carfax, it doesn't capture everything about the car, but this NFT will, and I think that's pretty slick. I would also want to know if Chainlink is involved in helping to capture all of that, you know, being, you know, being the the largest oracle out there that's helping to pass information from, you know, the real world to the digital world back and forth. So that's going to be interesting to find out. But I think that's really cool. And like I said, the more mainstream picks up, I think the more that happens in mainstream, the more momentum it picks up, the more momentum it picks up, the more accepted cryptocurrencies and their technology gets, you know, gets accepted. So I think that's really cool. Uh, yesterday, I made a statement that Uber was considering implementing accepting cryptocurrencies as payment. The CEO came on and he said, hey, look, listen, we are more than open to doing that but we want to do it when cryptos are more environmentally friendly. And I took a step back and I was like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. So I'm wondering how many people are doing um, climate impact analyses on, on the various cryptos that are out there and even as crypto as a, as a broad spectrum and its impact on the environment. Because I think that's, that would be interesting and I think that would help to drive more acceptance and use of crypto technologies. Um, when I think about crypto and I think about credit cards, I, I'm, I, I don't have any numbers behind it. But when you think about how much data is captured using credit cards and all the computers and that whole credit card ecosystem from the banks that are capturing the data to the companies that are handling the transactions to the companies that are extracting data, extracting from the same data pool to do whatever it is they want to do with the data to market to you, to sell to you, to do other things. That whole ecosystem has got to be bigger than me writing something to a public ledger, me mining, you know, to that public ledger, because the electricity that these are taking has to outweigh what these are taking up. So I, I would love to see, you know, a uh, some kind of analysis or research paper done on that. So if anybody's listening and that, that's, your, that's your thing, please have at it and share it with us. I think that would be great. Georgia is speaking on that georgia is the hottest um cryptocurrency mining state in the union it continues to be a hot spot more and more miners are looking to move to georgia um, again following more and more states that are having a positive outlook toward crypto technology and what that crypto can, technology can mean for its local economy so th those things are just popping up all over the place as with you know i reported that 
Uh, Tennessee was doing something, Arizona was doing something. Well, here we are with um, Representative Krista Finelli introducing a bill in Missouri to exempt crypto from property taxes. So again, another mainstream thing, another move by another state in the United States that is positive toward crypto. And you've got more coming. Previous in the week, you had New Hampshire Governor John Sununu actually signed an executive order creating a commission for the research into crypto technologies or crypto cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So when you sit when you when you think about everything that's going on, it's no surprise that the SEC, you know, the chairman Gary Gensler is saying, "Hey, look, listen, we are actively working on regulating crypto." So it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and what. So these are things that again lead to positive acceptance of crypto because if you're going to regulate it, well, that means you're going to accept it. No matter how, even if I don't like the regulation or we don't like the regulation, you're still accepting that is it is a thing and it's happening. So those are things we're paying attention to. Something else I want to touch on is BlockFi might be close to getting rid of their albatross around their neck, which is you know an ongoing investigation by the SEC. And how that would happen is they might have to pay out a hundred million dollars in fines that would be paid across five states, and they might also have to give up offering their high yield offerings um, as high as 9.5%. So that, that could be a very big deal, but we have to see how that finally plays out. There's nothing official that's been released yet, but that is something that could be happening. Um, let's get to Drake. Let's get to Drake. Um, Drake, my nieces love Drake. My daughters love Drake. Um, I like some of his music, not all of it, but that's not the big deal. The big deal is Buddy, placed about a, about $1.3 million in bets, all in crypto. I believe it was Bitcoin. How cool is that? I mean, it's, it's another unofficial um, acceptance or, or nod to crypto technology, right? Somebody of that level saying, yeah, crypto. You have all these sports athletes, a lot of entertainers saying, pay me in crypto, pay me in crypto, pay me in crypto. You know, everybody was laughing at, you know, um, Odell Beckham Jr. getting paid in crypto. And, you know, when he got paid in crypto, crypto took a dive. So his so the value of his crypto took a dive. He only took a portion of his salary in crypto. But the portion that he did take in crypto, yeah, took a dive. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be upset with that. I'm pretty sure he has money to live off of. I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine. And when that crypto goes up, I think he'll be the last one laughing. Right. But that further acceptance, that additional nod toward crypto is a very big deal. So as I continue looking at what the what the Main Street or what Main Street is doing, you know, what mainstream life is doing with regard to crypto, does it hate it? Is it accepting it? Rafael, I said before, Rafael Cruz, you know, used a use a broker to buy some buy some crypto. So you sit there and you kind of go, yeah, I think it's a bipartisan kind of deal where you either like it or you don't. But I think a lot of politicians are starting to figure out that crypto is the place to be. Crypto is going to have to be regulated. There are a lot of things that can happen. I mean, just look at the amount of money that's moving within crypto. It's mind boggling. So at some point, you're going to regulate it and everybody will move forward. Does that create a richer state? Highly possible. Highly possible. Um, so that's it about Drake and his bets, you know, with Bitcoin. Pretty cool. Hope he wins because I am also going. All right. I'm going official. I'm going for the Rams. And the reason why is my son likes Odell Beckham Jr. It's not a love affair or anything like that. Just likes Ob Odell Beckham Jr. Just likes what he can do and everything. Um, feels that he got short, you know, got short stiffed um, at, um, at the Browns uh, and has come back strong with the Rams. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, something else I want to touch on traders just mucking it up again, doing shorts. And they're betting on that, you know, crypto will take another dive, you know, below 38,000. So creating a short after getting smacked around lovely in the past week with crypto going up, they're still they still want to play the short game. Okay, I hope you don't get squeezed. Haha. -ha. Um, but uh, 
I'm in it for the long haul. I'm going to buy crypto. I'm going to hold crypto for a while. There are some cryptos I'm going to move faster than others when it, when it comes to taking profits. There are cripples, cryptos that I'm holding that I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch for a while because of, you know, long-term potential versus short midterm potential. Um, but there are things that, you know, you could be doing, should be doing. And I, I'm, I'm just cracking up. I really am just cracking up. Uh, I wanted to touch on something. My friend Amber uh, is just getting involved in crypto. I'm not going to bring up her. Um, I'm not going to bring up her information, but I do want to go over the assets that she bought. Um, she got Chainlink, Crypto.com coin, Polygon, Gala, Shiba Inu. Real fast. Listen, Chainlink, like I said earlier, it is, it is connective tissue. If you want to exchange information between digital world and reality, Chainlink is the largest oracle that's doing that, and they're going to be a major part going forward. Crypto.com coin, she lives in California, sees all the marketing, and thinks that's going to be a very big deal going forward. Bought Polygon. I mean, she got chain link. I mean, she's doing crypto because I've been hammering her to get involved in crypto. Um, she bought Polygon, but based on what I said, but she doesn't really know Polygon. Amber, your homework is going to be dig into Polygon a little bit and dig into Gala a little bit. And while you're looking at Gala, take a look at UFO Gaming. Anyway, Polygon is another one of those companies that I believe is connective tissue. So yes, it is a currency. They started off, started off as a layer two for Ethereum. But being that layer two for Ethereum, they also created their own their own blockchain and started doing layer one level stuff. And they've got a huge, they are, I believe they are the largest Web3 following out there. They've got tons of applications, games, NFTs, tons of companies that are riding on their backbone. So that's a company that I believe is going to go far for a long time. I'm a big holder of Polygon. I think it's smart. Um, she bit into Gala. Gala Gaming has a great gaming platform. They've got a lot of projects on there, and they're expecting to have more this year. So I expect Gala to actually take off this year. Shiba Inu, smart move. I think Shiba is going to be seen as more than just a meme coin. Actually, it is more than just a meme coin. Meme coin. Having already, sorry, that was Stitch, having already launched Shiba Lands as their metaverse. So they've got a lot of things going on, and I think there's going to be more going on you know, as the year turns out. So I, I'm expecting big moves from Shiba in the coming months. So let's go back over and I think it's time to actually take a look at the numbers. Uh, let's go do that. So you've got the fear and greed index down from 50 down to 44, but I think that's coming. That's hilarious. My dog is like barking because my, my sister is coming over. Um, but dropping from 50 to 44, I think that's fine. I think, I think there's still positive momentum for crypto. Um, I think one of the things that made it drop down, down to 44, is obviously Russia and Ukraine. That's going to be a very big deal. Again, I don't understand Russia's play toward trying to get people to do... Um, mining in Russia when you're trying to start a war in Ukraine. And who's going to trust that you're going to let me keep all the crypto that I've mined? I'm not seeing it, but whatever. You do you, boo-boo. Um, wanted to look, just take a glance at what's going on in crypto. Bitcoin being at 42.866. It's a back above that bottom that was set, which is, I think, 42.7. So that's something that we're looking at. Um, Ethereum is up, so I think that's a good thing. So looking at crypto in certain in certain regards, I think it's I think crypto is still on sale. I think things are still a good buy. I'm going to be looking to get more into things. XRP, big green. Why they were 81, they were 87, they 84. They are really close, I think, to solving their problem with the SEC because of the two memos that came out and their sir reply that they were able to give. So I, I think there's a lot more that's going to happen with regard to Ripple and that lawsuit. So pay attention to that. Um, as you can see from here, most things are green, but, you know, this is green as as to, you know, where it was a little while ago versus 
your portfolio. We've got a bunch of services that we're going to launch on EddieJ on Crypto.com, a um, bunch of tools that will enable you to look at, you know, things that are relative to your portfolio and not just coins relative to themselves an hour ago. Some of that information is useful, but it's more useful if I can see that information underneath it as against my portfolio, here's how it was moving in the past hour, seven days, you know, hour, 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, so on and so forth. So we'll bring that to you. We're, we're, we're working really hard at it. We've got a few things coming. Yes, the initials NFT are involved. Um, but anyway, do me a favor, smash the likes, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified on when we drop new videos on crypto. Um, we've got a lot going on and we hope to grow this channel. We hope to grow our new community at Eddie J, you know, on crypto.com. It's not launched yet. I will let you know when it's launched. Don't forget also take a look at our NFTs we currently have on OpenSea. Um, we have Sabar7, and we're going to be launching more of those, but I'm holding back. We've got like 19 more um, that we're going to launch to support this local artist. But we want to hold back until we launch the website because there's a lot more that comes along with it. So you're not just going to get the NFT, but there are a lot of other benefits for the NFT holders that are involved. All right. Hope you have a great day. Eddie J on crypto. Bye bye.